people, it's me and today is Ruby Tuesday. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my updated makeup collection. And in the past, I have done what's in my makeup bag videos. But I don't necessarily have a makeup bag anymore. I have a makeup shelf. You guys will see what I mean later. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I do not wear that much makeup. Um, almost every day, I only fill in my brows and put on mascara. But other than that, I only wear like eyeliner, mascara, lipstick, lip gloss for special occasions. And I almost never put on face makeup such as bronzer, highlight, foundation, any of that. So you will not see any of that in my video. Um, I also don't have a lot of high brand makeup products. Mine are mostly just drugstore products because again, I'm not a professional at makeup so I wouldn't really need them. And I just wanted to tell you guys that with or without makeup, everyone is beautiful and that is not an opinion it's a fact it's hashtag science okay i just wanted to say that if wearing no makeup at all ma makes you feel beautiful do not wear makeup and if wearing a full face of makeup every day makes you feel beautiful do it because at the end of the day as long as you feel beautiful about yourself then that's all that matters other people's opinion won't matter to you as long as you are happy and that goes for anything else you do what you gotta do to feel beautiful and feel happy about, about yourself so let's go let's get right into what is in my shelf and yes i am filming this on the floor because i have no idea where else to film it so deal with it i'm first gonna start off with what is over here in this little tangle and so in there i put all of my lipsticks and all of my lip products so first we have this nyx intense butter gloss and this is in toasted march marshmallow even though it's like a magenta color i've never seen a magenta toasted marshmallow but that's whatever and the next i have a sip a nyx soft matte lip cream and this is in london and this is sort of like a darker nude brown and this is one of my favorite things to this is one of my favorite co colors to wear because this literally goes with everything and then again from the same line that I showed before. This is NYX Intense Butter Gloss and this is in Chocolate Crepe. The Intense Butter Glosses, they just make, they are just basically make, make my lips look shiny. And from the same makeup lip line again, is Soft Matte Lip Cream and this one is Athens. This is, this is kind of like a coralish nude color. And these two, they are soft and they are matte and, they're, and they kind of um, moisturize my lips a bit. And all four of them smell super duper good. Next, I have my Mark J. I have my Mark Jacobs one called Love Mark, and it's just this dark red color. Next, I have my YSL lipstick, and this is in Rouge Volupte, and this is also a like coral but more pinkish color and this is more vibrant than 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 the nyx one and i have this ysl kiss and blush balm and this is in baby doll so it looks like this on on this side is more of a brown nude and on this side is more of a, of a pink nude color but i don't really really like, really like to put on blush so i just put it on my lips so i have this the color wear workshop li lip gloss and this is just red, like nothing really special to it. I have this baby lips balm and blush thing from Maybelline. And again, this is red. And, and again, I don't like to put on blush that much, so I use these on my lips. I have this Rimmel London color and it's in Rose Sorbet. And it's kind of like a hot pink shimmery color, so I don't wear this that often because it's very vibrant and out there next i have this clinique berry pop color and this is what it looks like it is a dark maroon color next i have these two covergirl lipsticks that are from the same brand this one is called Co coquette and again this is sort of like a shimmery magenta ish color so i would don't wear this that often and this one is called Heavenly, this is a nude pink color. Next, going on to what's in this little flap here, it's some more lip products. So, I have this Sonia Kashuka pink lip gloss. 
And I actually got this from Target before it closed down in Canada. Honestly, Target was only in Canada for like maybe two or three years and then it closed down because Canadians are not all about that Target life. We like Walmart and Zellers. Anyways, next is the next liquid suede cream lipstick and this is in Vintage. And this is a burgundy color and is dark and this is a sort of um, unique color and again I wouldn't wear this that often but still it looks very nice. Next I have this Mary Kay Play Lip Crayon and it's just like a vibrant pink color and I also got this from Target before it closed down. Then I have the OG Lip Smackers Squeezy and this is watermelon and this taste looks and smells so good. I just wish I could find even more lip smackers because they are awesome. Next I have a sweet candy case and it's for lip and eye. And it's broken as you can see. But anyway, so here we just have a hot pink lipstick. Here is a shimmery magenta eyeshadow. I don't know. This is a light pink lip gloss this is another hot pink lip gloss but this is more sheer and this is a this is kind of like a dull nude pink lip, lip gloss this is another pink lip gloss so many pinks this is in this is a lavender shimmery eyeshadow this is a indigo eyeshadow this is a grayish grayish bluish eyeshadow and this is a white eyeshadow I saw this Elizabeth Arden one and it's in ginger and it's in the color ginger so it has a lip liner and this is honestly just like a shimmery goldish brownish color and it has the lipstick to match with it and then finally out of my all my lip products I have another Sonia Kashuk product and this is a velvety matte lip crayon and this is in poppy nude this is basically like a red orange color so in my first drawer i basically have all of my applicators and everything i use to put on my my makeup so i just have these regular tweezers because they're because you need to get them eyebrows only and then i have two eyelash curlers i don't really like this one i prefer this one more and i got these both from like shoppers drug mart i think here i just have some brushes this one is a flat brush thin flat brush and i use these for my brows and filling them in this is a more thick brush and those two pink brushes are from Danielle and I use it to blend my um blend my eyebrow concealer that is not liquid you'll see what I mean in a second and then I use this to put on eyeshadow and blend in my eyeshadow next in the middle drawer here I have my NYX wonder pencil and this is what I use to line to go on the out uh, to go on the outside of my brows and to conceal the outside of my brows uh, make my brows look more more shimmer shaped. This is the mascara I use all the time every day. It's called Grey, it's called Maybelline Grey Lash and I know this is like the pretty basic OG uh, mascara and it's waterproof cuz you know we're not about that non-waterproof mascara life. The next I have the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express Mascara. I got this before I got my Grey Lash Waterproof Mascara and I, and, and I tried to use this but it's not waterproof so I don't really like it. And then next I have this NYX Retractable Eyeliner Pencil and I just use this when I want to put on eyeliner but I'm kind of lazy at the same time so I just go and that's it. And then I have this NYX HD Studio Photogenic Liquid Concealer and I use this to go on my dark circles but it's only sometimes for, for special events because I actually like my dim, like my dark circles and I like the kind of intimidating vibe it gives off so but I don't want anyone to talk to me I just don't want to put on any any concealer and I go like and that's how you get no one to, to talk to you this is in glow like you already know and now in the final drawer is all of my palettes that I use. There's a lot of these. So I have these three cover gold palettes and they're basically all the same just with the different colors. So this one has like brownish colors. It has gold, orangey gold, brown, and dark brown. 
This one's more pink. They have light pink, bright pink, shiny pink, and a light brown. And then here, I have no idea what to call this, but they have like a shimmery white, shimmery brown, grayish bluish color, and a black color. And then this Clinique one is called Chocolate Covered Cherry, and it's just and it's just a dark burgundy color. I have another called Copper Gold Palette, and this just has a whole bunch of purples. We have a dark purple, a medium purple, a lavender, and a indigo, and a light indigo, sort of. And next, I have this Essay Water eyeshadow. Here, it used to be a shimmery white eyeshadow, but that fell off, and I don't know where it went. And then this one is a like nude pink one. This one is like a brown one, and this one is a uh, kind of dark indigo, and those are all shimmery colors. And then this one, I have this is the color design palette. And so first you have a shimmery pink, shimmery turquoise, a matte brown color, shimmery white slash gold, and a shimmery brown color. And the next I have this Mary Kay cream eye color and I also got this before Target goes now and I use this and I put this on but um before I put on all of my eye eyeshadow so that it's so that my eyeshadow sort of like sticks to my eyelid and it doesn't come off and then I have this random Claire's palette it just has a whole bunch of really glittery eyeshadows and I only wear this for like super special occasions such as like New Year's where you wear you could wear you gotta dress all sparkly and fancy and such. So we just have a gold, a black, a dark grey, a light grey, a white and a gold. This is more like a rose cold bronze color. And then finally I have this body shop palette and this is where I apply my brows so here we just have a dark brown color and a black color and I oh and I and I always use the dark brown to both line and to fill in my brows so I hope you guys enjoyed this video leave in the comments down below if you guys have some of the same makeup products that I do or which one of my makeup products was your favorite like this video subscribe for more and I'll see you guys next Tuesday bye, bye.